congratulations on wanting to take the shortcut to easier brass playing. Now I'd like to talk to you about velocity. Now that might be something that you've never actually considered, but we do know that we need to have a faster vibration to play higher notes and a slower vibration to play lower notes. But when you understand the whole idea behind velocity, that's going to be enable you to be able to change the way that you are thinking about playing in different ranges. I would get you to consider that if you've got two walls here and there's a flow of water or air between these two walls and those walls come together, the velocity, the speed of the air increases. It goes faster. When we understand that and then we have the whole concept of that top lip being nice and loose, the skin of the top lip, being loose like a sheet, a bed sheet on a clothesline. The milk spout getting this bottom lip out of the way. Then we've got a control of the velocity. When we use the aperture corners and we change the velocity horizontally, the bed sheet will vibrate faster, the pitch on the instrument will vibrate faster. Common traditional teaching is buzz the lips faster. So if we try to do that, we're going to tighten the lip up, which is actually <laughs> slowing the vibration down. Our intention is to use the muscles to increase vibration. Yet in actual fact, by grabbing those muscles, we'll actually slow down the vibration. Now, some people out there can buzz their lips very, very uh, fast, but that doesn't transfer to being able to play higher on the instrument. I know a bunch of people that can buzz really high, buzz fast at the lips, but can't play high on the instrument. Because what happens, of course, everything locks down, we go into airlock or we start overblowing, overexerting, creating too much energy, too much heat. We're burning the pizza, we're going into the airlock. All of these errors that are not necessary when playing a brass instrument. So with a change of understanding, the psychology that you have in regards to playing, you will be able to unlock the pinch down and start to use the horizontal activation of the lips in order to dictate the speed of the velocity and therefore the range of the instrument. Then of course, when we need to play louder, the whole trick and challenge behind brass playing is able to keep the velocity the same while increasing flow. And our mouth is horizontal. So if we want to increase flow, we've got to open the lips, we've got to let more energy through without compromising the lip zip and the horizontal inward movement of the lips. There's a bit there, it's a bit complicated. However, when you learn this, it is the most powerful thing to do because you're letting go of all that internal compression and the the throat articulation that you might be feeling or the limited range or the limited endurance. When, you're at, when your aperture corners are working effectively and you understand how to dictate pitch by changing the velocity and that is the tongue affects velocity and the aperture corners uh, affect velocity. When you learn these playing unlocks, you will have limit, unlimited range and unlimited endurance that is really, really important. And it's super fun and satisfying to be able to play longer over a greater range, easier, more fun, more gigs. Brass playing's no harder than humming, talking and singing. And I'd love you to come and check it out. Hey guys, if you're wanting my help to develop an efficient three to four octave range with consistency, confidence, a killer sound, and a virtuoso technique, I've put everything I've learned over the last 35 years into one easy to follow program that you can benefit from right now at absolutely no cost for the next seven days. From your very first lesson, you'll begin to understand why you're having playing problems and why you're hitting ceilings. Our step-by-step -step comprehensive technical development program is for all brass players of all levels and all styles, and I run live weekly masterclasses and live lessons via Zoom to make sure you're on the right track. If your mind isn't totally blown by day seven, you can opt out without being charged a cent.